George Clooney has stepped behind the camera in his latest role, directing The Boys in the Boat. It's a great film. I loved it. It's what I would call an old-fashioned film, and I mean that as a, as a real compliment. It tells the true story of a rowing team, a lot of working-class boys, competing against all the odds at the 1936 Olympics, just before the war, in Berlin. Now, I sat down with George, and the film stars Callan Turner as well. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Nice love to see it. you, it's by the way. You. I haven't seen you since we got in trouble the last time. We did get yeah. in trouble the no, last why time. Why did you get in trouble? Because well. we were naughty. Oh. But it's fine. It's all, it's all we're done. All better. It's all Let's good. run that <laughs> clip. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I loved about it? And I mean this as a massive compliment. It was like a movie that I could imagine Spencer Tracy being in. Yeah. Do you know what oh, I mean? Yeah. It was like a proper old-fashioned great tale. Well, the story felt like an old-fashioned film. Mm. The book did. Mm. And we shot it to try to feel like old-fashioned. There's, you know, there's a big kiss at the train station, and I had to talk to him about, like... You had to teach me how to kiss. You had yeah. to kiss differently. No, yeah. Actually, really, like an old-fashioned movie. Mm -hmm. you know, new movies, everybody's got, like, their tongues are like... Yeah, nah. there's too much squelching. And, and, yeah, and this one had to be old-fashioned kissing. <laughs> did you know immediately you saw Callum that he was your boy? Well, he was the least expensive, mm -hmm. oh, so right, you understand that. <laughs> I was about the 10th for 11th. Yeah, 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 yeah. we went I actually paid him to do it. <laughs> I bet you people watching this have no idea you're British, because no. your accent you know is what? amazing. If my mum is watching it. She knows. She's going to know. <laughs> she's going to know. Yeah. She but better know. She has an inkling. Did you just take to this rowing malarkey immediately? No. Did you? Oh, my, no. oh my God. <laughs> because, and did you have me? We saw hands That's what I thought it blisters. was. I thought it was rowing oh, yeah. malarkey. Yeah. Yeah. We did two months of training before we shot, and then we trained whilst we shot. And we it's five it, months. They were yeah, doing. we really did it. You know, it's uh, but you did it the way you know you shot it so that you were learning, and then yes. got better right. and better yeah, and better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. You can see but that you. was that was George and Grant. They said that. Uh, well, just so you know, when we first saw them, it was a disaster. What was it? Oh, we were doing three weeks. You and of, I, mm. we would do better. Would we? Yes. George was smiling through the pain, giving me a big <laughs> thumbs up, supportive, yeah. and I could see the fear in his soul. You shot some of that in the Thames, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Because I thought that, because I live on the river, not a million miles away from you, I live on the river, and I wake up to that every weekend. We sh the very opening shot is I walk there from my home. Yes. I thought that. I thought I recognised it. It's right where it. my wife and I take a walk in the morning. Can we talk about the cocks? Yes. Because the cox is a huge part of this. You've got to get this the This is how we got in trouble the last <laughs> time, isn't it? <laughs> you said, uh... I actually, this is how we got in trouble yeah, last time. But the co because the cox are loud and yeah. they're very, very <laughs> integral part well, of the, the whole thing. The, the important thing is that you don't want your uh, cox to be too big. No. Because the cox has, to be, small. has, to, be small cox has to be smaller. Smaller and lighter. Yes. And in charge. Yes. Mm -hmm. In general, you don't... In, in fact, if your cox isn't in charge, uh, there's, it's not very work. successful. Then, yeah, then it all goes work. all over Nothing the place. Works. It Nothing has works. to be in a straight line. Right. Well, this is, uh, if we have time for one more question. <laughs> 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 With this story, what, what I loved about it was, as soon as the movie was finished, I went away to find out more about these guys, mm. especially Joe, mm. especially Joe mm. who you play, because I wanted to know more about them and the fact that they were, you know, a good bunch of working class lads yeah. who worked their butts off mm. and... It worked for him. I don't want... Mm, it's difficult to talk about without giving too much away. Everyone but these guys dies were... in the end. <laughs> I think... I don't want to... I don't want to... You know, drown. <laughs> but if, if we were rowing, we would have drowned. Mm. You know, it's an interesting thing. Those guys, for... What was it? Like 50 years, they would get together every Once year in a row. Yeah. They created a bond that was unbreakable. How was Mr. George Clooney as a director? Yeah. Well, we didn't really get along. And uh, it's nice to see him again. <sighs> we didn't even talk, actually. There <laughs> yeah. was a restraining order. He just told me better. Do it better. Do it better. Yeah. With a megaphone. Yes. You, had, you had the megaphone? I did have you a still megaphone. Have the megaphone. Did you have the megaphone I like did. in the old days? Yeah, I did. I was like Eric von Stroheim. I remember him. I had a whip. Yes. And I was like, well. <laughs> as an actor, though, yeah. do you think that makes you a better director? Because you know. You know about all the, you know, what you need from a director. Do you think it just gives you that wee bit of extra? Just a wee bit. I didn't understand a word you just said. <laughs> <laughs> no, it does give you an edge. <laughs> I, I had to say. So cheeky. Um, I, you know, look, there was, the only edge we had was that I'd done a movie in the water once before and I remembered how miserable oh. it was. And so uh, I didn't tell any of them. Right. I told them this is going to be simple. It's yeah. be well, we had all seen it. Yeah, we all had seen Perfect Storm. I make oh, them. I, I make them watch all my movies before they work. You know. They were just seen them anyway. <laughs> I made them watch Batman and Robin just before too. Three times. Yeah. Well, I, I wanted him to learn about. That, uh, I, I wanted him to see greatness in action. Yeah. You know. 
It wasn't that bad. Oh, really? It wasn't. I, I, it, it was it, camp. It, it was funny. That's it my was, favorite Batman. Exactly. And that. it was more like the TV so, Batman. Yeah. And I think you'll find it, that that's Callum. what people that like. Take. Well, it's a beautiful film. Thank it you very really much. It really is. It's a proper, proper heartwarming film. It's just what we need right now. Yes. It's yeah. what we need right now at the start of the year. Thank you so much. Thank well, it's you. good to see you. You're gorgeous. Thank nice you. He is. He is handsome. He's very handsome. to you. Well, I know. Uh, and again, I think it's important to remind everyone that uh, you and I get in trouble now, and we have to stop this. So the next interview we do, we don't talk about anything. That, no cocks. That, no, we don't. We will not talk about the cocks. Okay. Okay. I promise. All right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what a great guy! That was a really lovely afternoon. I have to say, the boys in the boat. Beautiful film. It's like I said, it's like an old-fashioned film, but we mean that in the nicest possible way. Mm -hmm. Don't be tired. Mm -hmm. It's lovely. Mm -hmm. It's a great story. Um, it's in cinemas this Friday. You can imagine someone like um, James Stewart in it. You know, it's like those kind of films. It's great.